Okay, everybody, welcome back to my Mario Kart 7 walkthrough. To, to, sorry, sorry. To the return, actually, of my uh, Mario Kart 7 walkthrough. So, the last video that we did, if you guys were watching it as it was being premiered, it was Christmas Day for you guys. So, Merry Belated Christmas. Hopefully, you guys were uh, watching it while you guys were... Um, Sitting on the couch and uh, eating Christmas cookies in your pajamas, you know. <laughs> the video after this will be our 345th video of this entire YouTube channel, by the way. And yeah. So, let's hit the open road as we usually do. Let's hope this proceeds without a hitch. Some of the uh, themes from this, uh, from the music that's um, in this uh, level, was reused from the uh, from a uh, game in the uh, Donkey Kong series. The Donkey Kong series is owned by the uh, same owners that invented the Super Mario series. It's even in the Mario Bros. movie too, because uh, sometimes Donkey Kong is a playable character in Mario games. <laughs> So it's like the uh, Donkey Kong series is almost a spin-off, almost. But believe it or not, that's what it may seem like, but believe it or not, when um, Super Mario Bros. was initially invented, Donkey Kong was one of the characters in it. And it was actually called Donkey Kong. Mario was just one of the uh, other characters in it. Mario was the uh, main guy, and Donkey Kong was the enemy, even though it was actually called Donkey Kong. How ironic. And it was an arcade game. And it involved Mario saving Princess Peach and uh, beating Donkey Kong instead of Bowser. Well, not actually kicking the blocks out of Donkey Kong. He would, um, jump on him. Three times. But the uh, problem is there were no checkpoints back then in those, uh, well, there were no checkpoints in that, um, arcade games. In that arcade game, so if you would die, well, if Mario would die, you would have to insert another coin. And it was so hard that, um, did. Well, it was really, really hard in that game to uh, rescue Princess Peach. Because it got so complicated towards the end that very, very, very few people made it. Yoshi has a, a series of, um, his own now, too. Poochie and Yoshi's Woolly World. Um, and Yoshi is also a playable character in the uh, Mario series in general, too. And there is also the Kirby's Epic Yarn series, which is also owned by uh, Nintendo, I believe. Although I could be wrong. Actually, no, they are. And, uh, yeah, Kirby isn't actually a playable character in, um, any of the Mario games. Not that I know of, unfortunately. Actually, no. He, um, he is in Super Mario Maker. So let's go on to the next race now. Yeah, let's go. Okay, everybody, this is the second race of the uh, Special Cup. And yeah, let's go. Whoa, I almost fell off there. If you uh, fall into that, you don't actually die. Like, here, I'll show you. See? It's a whole new world under here. You don't even freeze to death! <laughs> Got me thinking about Frozen, you know, that a Disney movie. I uh, saw it in the theaters, actually. And I, and I uh, quite liked it. I thought it was awesome. We uh, have it on DVD now. And then I saw Frozen 2 when it came out in uh, late 2019. And I actually didn't like it, believe it or not. But that is the thing about movies. 
Yeah, that's the thing about movies. Thank you, come again! <laughs> Whoa! I, I was like almost upside down there. If you can hear that uh, noise in the background, that's just my uh, dad, he's home. Oh no, I should have kept that uh, green shell. Someone's, someone sent a red shell towards me. It's coming. I can tell um, because of what I can see on the uh, touch screen, which you guys cannot. You can tell on via touch screen when, a, uh, when another player is uh, sending something to you, whether it be a red shell or uh, something else. Or a blue shell, you know. Or a bomb. <laughs> Well, actually, you can't tell if, there, if a bomb is going to explode right in front of you because you can't predict the future, whereas if it's a blue shell or a red shell, you can kind of almost predict the future because um, they're programmed to, well, you know, you should know what I'm talking about if you've been playing Mario Kart 7 for a long time. We're going upside down again. All right, now let's see if... Oh, that was really brief. Oh my gosh, I let go of it accidentally, and it, and it was enough to stop the red shell or the green shell that was heading towards me. Wow. Yeah, I didn't need to keep one of those, because um, I could tell that Toad, who is behind me, got a uh, banana peel as his item and uh, not a red shell. Banana peels can't actually stop a blue shell. Nothing can stop a blue shell except an invincibility star. One time when I was playing Mario Kart Wii, someone sent a blue shell towards me, and because I was protected by the superstar, the blue shell didn't affect me. It tried to and failed. Okay, now let's move on to the next race. Okay, everybody, we are back. Welcome to Bowser's Castle. He thinks that nobody can can um can beat his race because of how he has it set up. We'll see about that. Just kidding, I don't know if that's actually true. That's just uh, something that I made up. Whoa! I got distracted. Which is why you do not text and drive. <laughs> or read a book and drive. Or eat a bowl of um, cereal while you're driving. Or do your hair in the car comb your hair in the car, you know, while you're driving, you know. <laughs> gotcha. Okay, that was difficult. Ha! Take that, y'all losers! I'm ahead of you guys now. Whoa! Did you guys see that? I'm talking to you guys who are watching this, not the losers. Yeah, I wouldn't be telling them what uh, what just happened to me there when I uh, went right over that gap. Or maybe I would if I wanted to brag to them that I'm in first place and that I'm a better racer than them. got distracted again. I think I need to put my phone away. <laughs> oh no, someone's sending a blue shell. And I can't go back and get into second place because I'm too way ahead of everybody else. Well, we'll just have to hope that... There. It's over now. Whoa, that was close. Ah, 
Okay, we are on the final lap now. Whoa! I went right over that uh, thing of lava, whatever you call it. Whoa, did you guys see that? Oh no, someone sent another blue shell towards me. I can't go back and get into second place because I'm too far ahead of everybody else. Well, let's get it over with. Oh my gosh, did you guys see that? <laughs> uh, now someone is going to send a red shell towards me. She's probably going to beat me. She's probably going to get ahead of me. I can tell on via touch screen that she's... Nope, she's still behind me. No, she's ahead of me now. Well, now she's behind me. We did it. Okay, now for the final race. Okay, we are now in the final race. I'm gonna gun it. Okay, we got a good head start. Really, I really wish that they'd have kept the original Rainbow Road from a Mario Kart Wii and uh, used it as the Rainbow Road for this game. Really wish they could have done that. Well, I do gotta admit, this Rainbow Road is fun in uh, some ways given some parts of the music in it, and given some parts in it in general. So I guess you could say it is fun in some ways. They later um, reused this uh, race with an updated version of its uh, soundtrack in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Passes. This wouldn't actually happen in real life. Saturn's rings aren't actually solid in real life. And, speaking of which, I wouldn't be able to breathe up here in real life anyways, and we wouldn't even be hearing sound because in, um, in outer space there is no sound. About the, uh, I wouldn't be able to breathe up here. That, I do believe I have also mentioned in another video, too. And I did mention in, in that uh, other video that you do not take your helmet off in outer space because of it. And I did mention in that other video, imagine if an astronaut takes his uh, helmet off while in outer space here. Oh, I just wanted a breath of fresh air. Uh, dude, there is no air. When you're where I am right now, it's a vacuum. Whoa, oh my gosh, did you guys see that? That was awesome. Okay, this is awesome. Whoa, don't want to get hit by those meteors. The movies even cheat a little bit when it comes to things getting bonked around in uh, outer space. They put sound in there but it actually, there wouldn't actually be any sound of it happening in outer space. So that is it for today's uh, video, everybody. Thank you guys so much for uh, watching. If you like what you just saw, subscribe to the channel. I do a new video every single day, so if you have subscribed and have your notifications turned on, you will be one of the first people to know when a new episode is being premiered. You guys can also follow me on these other social media platforms that I am on too. You guys can like and reply to the comments that I have written on other people's uh, videos. You guys can um, check out my liked videos. The links for all of this are all in the descriptions below of my uh, videos. And yeah, y'all have a good one. Y'all take care.